Hello everyone and welcome back to Ride on Hobbies. In today's episode, we're going to be painting some unmade that I got for my SO for their Christmas present. Now, they are a special band of unmade and that they are based on Silent Hill. You can see here some converted pyramid heads that I made from Dark Eldar racks facing down James Sunderland for a little diorama thing that attaches to a music box. That's an iconic moment from Silent Hill 2. And here we have the rest of the war band as they are currently. Like I said, I'm still kind of working on them and we are going to finish the last three units now. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started painting the first one. I'm starting with a red base coat because I want the entire thing to look fleshy and gross. Um, so I'm kind of painting the garb in kind of a flayed skin style. So the red base coat will hopefully see through and it'll look still a little bit bloody, a little bit fresh off the victim. And then I'm gonna paint the skin purple so that it looks diseased, grotesque, and gangrenous. Um, so like I said, these are, they're kind of Salt Hill inspired. I don't quite have the uh, the kind of rusty brown and gross aesthetic done, but they are, uh, I, I kind of did what I could with what I had, and I think they turned out relatively well, not the most silent hilly. Um, but I, uh, they are for my significant other, uh, and you should check them out as well. I will leave their channel page in the description. Uh, because they are also starting as a VTuber. So please go ahead and give them attention. They're currently working on a video series about organizing and prepping for your New Year goals. Plus, they're doing a playthrough of My Time at Porsche and Speed Paints and Speed Sculpts of other VTube characters. So uh, please be sure to give them a check out. They are Kitten Fuzzart. Their link will be in the description below. In addition, this is my first speed paint since my amateur paint series, and it's the first paint in my uh, new recording setup. I still have a little bit of a jerry-rigged background there. It's more or less just a sheet propped up, uh, but I do have some better lighting and higher quality uh, look. So hopefully that will turn out well. I am painting this uh, <laughs> Still using uh, some poster putty mounted on a uh, can of primer, uh, but I think that uh, it should pretty be pretty good. I uh, recently ordered a 3D resin printer, so I'm gonna try to print a new paint hand. I also have some terrain from a friend who has uh, printed some some of it for me using their FDM printer and they also printed up a hydro that they want me to paint for them in exchange so I'm gonna be getting that painted and ready pretty soon and I think that's gonna be our next video is working on his hydra so as I'm working on the, the first of the unmade here you see that unfortunately the little hook thing broke off while I was painting it, but no problem. Just glue that right back on. And here we are with the completed model. I added a little bit of gore effect, as you can see, with some oohoo and a little bit of uh, Freak Flex Liquitex. And it's, uh, I think it looks pretty good. So let me know what you think of it. I think this is the best one with the gore effects out of these three. The other two, okay, it's a little bit messy, a little bit pulpy, but they're not the worst. So we're going to go ahead and move right along to our second model now, which is going to be the Chain Whirler. Uh, this one is the one I was most scared of painting, especially after the little hook flail thing broke on the last one, because it's... It, <laughs> You'll see when I start to paint it, the, the, the chain is so bouncy and loose. I was worried it would just snap and fall right off, but I, 
that actually held through pretty well. That said, in, on, during, in this box of Unmade, I've had a number of breaks. The Joyful one specifically, its hook hands, both of them have fallen off probably a dozen times. You'll probably have noticed from the B-roll at the beginning, but the bases are magnetized. The pyramid heads can attach the diorama and come right off and be used on the board. But uh, even then, just moving them around a little bit, it feels like they're in jeopardy. I, I don't move them around too much, but even just from the shelf to the tabletop, the hook hands of that, that joyful one have come off so many times. Uh, the uh, I forget its name, but the, the one that's jumping off of the tombstone, uh, one of its hands have broken off a number of times. But so far, this chain whirler has uh, held on tight and, and threw out uh, all of the problems. So I am planning on working on more different kinds of content. I want to talk about more during these speed paints than just what I'm doing. So I'm uh, interested in hearing what people would like to see and hear from me. I'm thinking about doing some gameplay as well, not just of playing Warhammer. Uh, I'm a big competitive Pokemon video gamer. And even though I love tabletop games and card games, I actually don't like the Pokemon card games. The one card game I don't play. I even play Vanguard. So I'm thinking about doing some showdown, seeing what you guys think of that. I also want to do some uh, battle reports. I actually played my first game of Kill Team. Even though I've got a ton of Kill Teams already built, uh, just the other night with my brother who used my uh, Tyranids and I was playing my Grey Knights. I did not paint either of those on the channel, but you can see the paint process for those on my Instagram, which is also linked down in the description. So here's the completed chain whirler. I kind of don't like how pulpy the gore effect looks at the end of its chain, but it's not too bad otherwise. Uh, it's also got... It, the, 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 on this one and on the upcoming one, which we're about to start now, the Pikeman, I didn't like the way the base coat looked, but I think the effect still comes out pretty well. The uh, the first hook flail one definitely has the best base coat, I think. I think I watered down the, the red wash too much on the other two before I went in and uh, painted everything else on top of it. In addition to following me on Instagram, you should also follow me on Twitter, at RideOnH. That link will also be in the description. Uh, you'll be able to see updates and blurbs from me and uh, just hear about whatever I'm working on. Not to mention, I share a lot of stuff uh, from my significant other as well. As I'm working on the Pikeman, uh, the spear thing was actually kind of, kind of not finicky. It's not like the, the thin, spindly bits on some of the other ones where I felt like it would break, but it was kind of difficult to paint just because it's long and kind of oddly shaped. I wanted to give it kind of a metallic look, the same thing with everything else. So I base coated it in black and then brushed on some silver afterward. Uh, but it was definitely kind of a little funky to, to really paint and build properly. Much to my surprise, I was kind of expecting it to be the easiest thing uh, to paint. It actually it felt kind of solid in the hands. You'll see at the end here too, the gore effect is just my favorite. The best gore effect is definitely on the joyful one. But after that red wash, I do think the way that uh, it looks is pretty good. Uh, the metallics definitely stick out, and I like the way that the staples and the kind of apron thing really make it pop and feel more grisly. So, proud of myself. Even though it's not the best thing I've ever painted, it's definitely at least also 
So as we cut in here, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the final result here. And what do you think? Do they look Silent hill -y to you? Uh, do they, is there anything you think I could have used? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. I am excited to hear all new things on that. We're gonna go ahead and also have one last look at the full warband all together. So here they are in their glory. I think they're pretty good. I don't think they're the most silent hill thing in the world personally, but I think they turned out well enough. I think the two different styles of Pyramid Head look really good with them, and I think that they make for a pretty cool warband, and at least they're pretty happy with them. So until later, I'd like to bid you to live strong and ride on. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, bye bye